All right, so we're going to be demonstrating technique one, instructional cues. The purpose of starting with this is we're going to go in a logical sequence as each technique starts from the beginning of instruction to the end of instruction. So technique one, instructional cue in your PowerPoint, is important for us to deliver concrete, highly specific instruction to our kids with disabilities so they understand exactly what's expected. So let's look at some examples of this. This is my volunteer student participant learner. His name's going to be... Oscar. Oscar. <laughs> All right, so let's give some examples of, and non-examples, of instructional cues. Oscar, hand me the brown wallet. Highly specific, concrete, easy for him to understand. That's an example. Here's a non-example. Oscar, I need you to pick up the wallet and give it to me right now. Okay, that was a non-example, even though he did respond to that instructional cue. That, as a learner with a disability, may have confused them. So we need to keep our instructional cues concise and to the point, only contain information that is necessary for the learner to demonstrate the behavior. So here's another example again. These are simple, concrete examples for us because we're just um, new learners in this type of instruction. So, Oscar, give me the water bottle. Very specific. Give me water bottle. That's an example. Non-example. Hey, Oscar, reach over there and hand me that water bottle and put it in my left hand. That's a lot of word and extra language. Let's get right to the bottom line. He just needs me to hand, I just need that water bottle from him. So instructional cues, concise, concrete, and specific. Leave out all additional language when you're providing instructional cues that are unnecessary so that your learner can focus on the relevant stimuli in your instruction. Press it again. It's still recording.